Hello Scorpios, welcome to I Enigma. I Enigma going to be doing your general reading between November 7 to 14. I will see the current energies around you and how does this person feel for you? What is going to happen next? Upcoming events, health and career guidance in a nutshell. Please note that this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. So take what resonates and leave what does not. To get a personal reading, accurate consultations with me, reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. All the details are given down below in the description box. And I also do white previous spells for high scared. You can reach out to me for white spells as well. And if you want to buy my premium charged crystals, which is the best grade quality available, and I will be supercharging them, check out more reels about my crystals on my Instagram, iEnigma.in. And do follow my Instagram to stay connected with me. Also, I have my another channel that is Enigma Scorpio channel. Uh, it's link I will provide you below. You can check that out. Subscribe and stay tuned for more stuff. Let's see, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or Mercury signs in Scorpio cross watchers. See what is going to happen between seven to fourteen. Seven to fourteen. Seven to fourteen of November. All right, hey, the world. Someone is thinking about you on a large scale, okay? And now, what I'm seeing is you have two people coming after you, okay? The whole world is going to change because everything is revolving around you. You have become so important in people's eyes, like you are the center of attention. You are the person people want to date, want to get married to, but you decide who you want to be with because you're happy being alone. You're happy being in your own zone. You're not really desperate to find love or someone, please come and accept me. Please come and take me. Please come and marry me. You're not in this energy. You're in this energy of, okay, let me decide. Let me think. I'm going to make my own choice, but I'm happy being with myself alone. I don't mind taking time. That is what your energy is right now. You are simply a person that is in demand and you are an empress. You are a quality person right now. You value yourself. You're a high value person. Write down the comment section and claim. I am a high value person and do like and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for more stuff, exciting stuff coming in. Now, what I'm seeing is you're in this empress energy, you're in this powerful energy, male or female. You just are someone that's not giving, that is receiving a lot of love a lot of money whatever it is four of swords you're much more at peace you're embracing love you're embracing everything with love you're giving love to everyone that comes in your life but there's an energy of someone from the past that literally wants to make a contact with you this person is coming back now it does not mean i know most of you or all of you do not want to have any kind of connection with the past person but this is what i'm getting in the month of 7 to 14 november i'm seeing two people coming into your life okay you're dealing with two people one person is a lover another person is very very rich and materialistic let's see what it is all about but one of these is someone from the past coming back Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer or Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Someone from the past literally wants to come back. Scorpio, Queen of Cups. Oh, I feel you already have emotions for someone. Okay, if you're single, you are going to have emotions for this one of them. One of these from the, maybe from the past. Let's see. Let's see. I want to see what it is all about. Death. Ooh, okay. I feel like you had emotions for someone from the past when they didn't care. When they didn't care. And now that you literally gotten over this person and do not have emotions left for this person, maybe you still have emotions, but you don't want to work on it. You don't want to entertain it. You are literally putting it aside. Okay. And you have changed. But I feel like here, when you've lost feelings for this person, this person started feeling for you. This is weird. Things reverse tables turned. Someone that literally wasn't into you is now wanting to be with you. They're missing you like crazy hell. I'm seeing something to do with the color purple. Either they're wearing an amethyst stone. That's a hint. Or this person is someone... Um, that is intuitive themselves or could be a tarot reader. They're intuitive, but there's something to do with the color purple. Maybe there's some other message. Maybe the car is purple color. Maybe uh, they're going to send you a message with a purple smiley with a devil's emoji. You never know. So I'm seeing the color purple. Pay attention to that. But what I'm sensing, this person is overflowing with emotions for you. Since the day you walked away, since the day you lost emotions, since the day you decided to close the chapter forever, this person has been feeling deep emotions for you. 
could be a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Scorpio very strongly. But what you are doing right now, even if you have emotions, you're not going to allow this person to come into your life because you're done. You're an empress. You don't take what is gone. That is what you're saying. You can see with the Eight of Cups and the Hangman, you're leaving the situation and you do not want to pick up the broken heart like your broken pieces whatever you've lost you don't want to pick that up again you're like you're done you're not gonna pick something from the dustbin something that's that's uh, smelling like SHIT something that is like completely stale and you know that needs to be removed that needs to be thrown away you don't want to pick that up again okay you don't want to pick that up and make it look good again you're just dropping it. But this person has realized it. They've realized it late, but they've realized it. They've realized it slow. They realize it late, but they realized it. That you are the one that they want to be with. Okay, they're very happy being with you. But the problem over here is that, okay, it's too late. You're not even interested. This could be a Pisces. So I'm seeing the summer like that is coming towards you. But there's one more person. We'll talk about that. Four of Pentacles, Six of Wands. Right now, you just want to focus on your career. You just want to focus on your money. Your self-confidence is not allowing you to lower your self-standards and allow this person in any which way. You're happy that they finally did appreciate you after a long period of time, but that's something that you do not want for a long period. And I feel like the four of pentacles is right now, you are focusing on your income, you're focusing on your life purpose, you're focusing on doing big, you're fo focusing on getting recognition, awards, merit, you know, appreciation for your work. That is what, you, what your goal is. And you don't want to break that momentum. You're already in. I know once. This person is highly insecure of you. They're very scared of you. They know that you're not going to give them a chance easily. And they're not able to come out of this. They're not able to move on. And they're not even able to express themselves fully. Because they're scared of you. How you're going to judge them. How you're going to see this person. How you're going to appreciate them or not. Whether they're going to look like a fool. You're going to like make fun of them. There's so many things. This person's understood that it's over. That there's no way that they can fix it. They're trying to fix it actually. There's someone from the past that is trying to fix this connection. They're trying to fix your love. They're trying to fix everything back and, you know, be in a relationship or everything. But no. Now they've understood that they can't do it. No matter how much they try to fix things, they can't do it. It's over. It is done. And there's no way that they can correct things. They want to correct things so badly. Like I can sense that. I can sense that so strongly. They're not happy with this. They're not able to take interest in anything else. They're so... They so want you... Yes, they are understanding this energy that you are done, you moved on, you're different, you're not the same and there's no way that you're going to accept this person no matter what they do. Okay, so I'm not seeing you taking interest in this person. Okay, you are simply closing the chapter, closing the book by this is what is going down not going down well with this person i feel like this person is going in deep anxiety deep stress deep depression they're not happy okay this person is not happy they're not happy without you they want you at all cost they want you at all cost ace of swords they just cannot stop thinking about you what they did what happened they just they feel ashamed of themselves but this person cannot stop thinking about you're the one that they want to be with and you're on their mind 24-7 and they can't help it. What do they do? Because they know that they can't fix this. This is already damage has been done. And you are also, you've become extremely, um, you know, disinterested in this person. That's how they see you. Like you're completely detached. You made a decision and you become extremely assertive that, no, I'm not going to change my decision. No matter what you do, I'm not going to change this decision. So that's how they are seeing you as you've changed and you're not going to allow this person. They're still going to try. I'm seeing them still trying to come back, still trying to hope, still having this last minute hope like uh, you would, you might say yes or you might change your mind. This person is not giving up on you whoa who is this this person has been an extreme 
extremely flirt, extremely flirtatious in the past with other people. That is why they have guts. So I feel like this is someone that's still trying despite if you're pushing them away. Nine of Pentacles. You're the only one that they want right now. You're a treasure for this person. They realize your worth. They value you like nobody else. They want you. They, they uh, see you as the one. And they're desperate for you. I can sense this strongly. And I'm also seeing you're becoming more independent. Okay, you're not needing anyone to bring that happiness into your life. You're not desperate for anyone. You're very happy. You're very content. You're satisfied. You're nice to everyone else. You're receiving a lot of love and appreciation. You are happy. You're satisfied wherever you are. This person is not. Let me see what is this King of Pentacle energy. So you're about to meet someone new, okay? But it only happens when this person disappears out of your life completely. So I'm seeing that once you close the doors to this past person completely and you walk away completely and you lose interest completely, there is someone new that comes into your life, okay? This person could be at your work and this King of Pentacles is someone that may not appeal to you initially, or excite you initially but after some time of communication spending time with each other you guys will start liking each other this is something different let me see what is this king of pentacles all about libra energy okay. yes i'm not seeing this king of pentacles um is the one that you're going to accept i feel like there's someone new that has a crush on you very very rich and successful but maybe they're not offering you what you need. They come off as a little skeptic, closed off. And it feels like they're hiding something. They have a huge crush on you. They will have a huge crush on you, but this is not the person for you. But I'm definitely sensing that they will be heavily attracted to your body, or the way you present yourself, your skin, your body, everything. And you realize that you don't feel the same type of connection with this person. Let me see what else is coming up with this thing of pentacles. Five of Wands. Like King of Pentacles, there are going to be other options coming into your life. More options. So I'm not seeing you taking this King of Pentacles seriously. But yes, there might be a big fight between you and this person. And you may end up blocking them. But I'm definitely seeing you being in this happy energy of I am happy. I am content. I'm in the self-love energy. I can wait for my right person. Till then, goodbye. Ta-da. So I'm definitely seeing you're not very happy with the options coming into your life. You're giving yourself much more uh, time to allow the right person to come in. Till then, you're focusing on yourself. Because every time you can't keep your heart vulnerably out and getting hurt every time. So I feel like the past person is definitely wanting you. But there is someone new that is coming around that may come in for a short period of time. So be careful. Okay, so the children. Yeah, there's a possibility. Like this person could be from your workplace. They could be slightly younger. Or this person is childish. Like they have been flirting with you. They have been flirting with other people while having you in their life. And now that they want to come and connect with you, you know, heart to heart, you're just not able to feel the connection. Some of you have a child with this person. Children with this person. Right now, it's time for you to focus on your career. You will build a strong connection with your kids if you have. I'm definitely seeing the past person just not feeling good without you. They're in this poverty. They're in this sadness. They're in this despair. They're in this feeling of when will I meet the Scorpio? When will I get them back? And I feel like they're accepting it that you moved on. See, there are two people over here. Again, there are two people. Okay. And one person is definitely very rich, all right? And this person is someone that things were going good initially and then didn't happen well, okay? So be careful about this. Another person is someone that comes from a different religion, that comes from a different background, and so they can't accept you and you can't accept them. But there's a possibility somewhere. I feel like there's still a possibility with any of these two options as long as you want to work it out. If you don't want to work it out, no, it's not the one. Yeah. 
this person from the past oh my gosh this person's begging to come back this person is just not able to stop thinking about you they want to feel that way again they want to tell you they want to express you their emotions their true feelings ready to love again you're definitely gonna fall in love again it's there is time a new love is coming into your life maybe the past is also coming back with a new energy but all depends upon whether you want to accept the past or the new but i'm definitely seeing you're going to be in love again definitely get a rose quartz for yourself true a real one pure rose quartz it will be very very healing and will bring the unconditional love now is a lucky time to find the right person but don't panic it will come to you turn knowledge into wisdom whatever you've learned in the past whatever mistakes you've done you've made don't make those mistakes again you're wiser now you're becoming more mature how to deal with things and whatever comes into your life and you feel like every time i end up trusting someone it doesn't work out no it is definitely a step closer to your perfect partner to come into your life so everything happens for a reason appreciate every journey every experience every phase someone is in 40s and 60s i'm going to see the signs coming in so the most probable signs coming in is virgo then we are having gemini leo libra all right so let me see the all sign messages for you aries to pisces Aries. Aries is definitely seen as one of the best options out of which they are seen right now. They want to get closer to you if you allow them. Taurus is just cannot, they can't stop uh, loving you, liking you. They can't take their eyes off of you. This person is uh, attracted to you like anything. The Gemini person is keeping healthy boundaries, but I feel like this is getting toxic for them because they just don't want to give a chance. They have been hurt in the past. The cancer person is feeling lonely. They miss you, but they can't tell you. They can't explain. They want to be alone. The Leo person is keeping feelings to themselves, but slowly they will be opening up, opening up their heart. The Virgo is hurting over you. The Libra is making a decision to come forward in love. The Scorpio. Scorpio is feeling strong, pulled towards you. They can't stop liking you, loving you. Sagittarius is madling love. They want to have a future here with you. Capricorn. Capricorn is very conscious and I feel like they don't see themselves up to mark when it comes to you and them together. Aquarius. Aquarius is too bossy. They think they can have anything in this world. Also you. Pisces. Pisces is coming towards you. I feel like this person feels happier when you're around when they think about you. So they're coming towards you with a proposal here. They've made up their mind. They're feeling positive. Let's see the charms before we end this. separation someone from the past missing you this person can have you in their name r in their name or n in their name okay i'm also i'm also seeing run universe is asking you to run away from them <laughs> run that's a sign universe is saying run this person may love you right now but they won't later on you you might be stuck with this person i'm also seeing someone is just uh, conceived or uh, someone is a nurse here. Someone from Ukraine. Uruguay. Netherlands. Russia. Romania. Okay. This person is definitely stalking you. They might not show it, but they're stalking you silently, secretly. They're having a lot of emotional ups and downs without you in their life. They want to play your favorite song or they just listen to your favorite song every time to just cheer themselves up. Someone's name is Noor, Rebecca, Rachel, Nadia, anything, name could be any. Write down the comment section, tell me what your name is and which country you belong to. And obviously America, South Africa is there, South Sudan is there, India is there. I'm also seeing Singapore. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this wonderful read. Thank you for your time. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe to I Enigma.